Peru is home to the inaugural Birding Rally Challenge, where six teams of the best birders from around the world are going to compete to see how many birds they can see over six days here in southern Peru. I'm standing at the legendary Machu Picchu site, just one of the areas where these birders are going to scour the landscape in quest of the avian treasures of Peru. Let's go birding. Many of you thought of birding as boring, think again. I'm here in the heart of the Amazon in Peru at Incaterra Reserva Amazonica. And I'm here for the Peru Birding Rally Challenge. This is an event where six international teams compete over a six day period to see how many birds they can see over that time. My name is Cassiano Zapparoli, but my friends, people call me Zappa. I'm from Brazil, from Sao Paulo. My name is Fred. Fred Tavares, I'm from Minas Gerais, Southeast Brazil. My name is Bruno, I'm a Brazilian ornithologist. I live in Rio de Janeiro, State. My name is Eduardo Patrial, I'm, I'm Brazilian. I live in Paraná State in Brazil, is South region. My name is Ryan Terrell and I'm a graduate student at LSU, so I'm, a, I'm doing my PhD studying molten South American birds. I'm Michael Harvey, I'm from New Hampshire in the USA, and I'm a graduate student at Louisiana State University, and we're gonna destroy this challenge. <laughs> Uh, my name is Paul Vanels. I'm a graduate student at LSU as well. I'm originally from the Netherlands and right now we're at an ant swarm here in the Amazon and we're going to find lots of ant birds here <laughs> and win. I'm uh, Glenn Seelzer. I'm a graduate student at LSU. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've been birding since I was 13. Started coming down to South America when I was 18 and yeah, it's kind of like a dream for us. Hi, I'm Andy Symes of Forest Falcons from the UK. I'm uh, Andrew Whittaker. I am uh, originally from the UK. Uh, member of the Forest Falcon team here. Hi, my name's Alex Lees. I'm a postdoctoral student at Museo uh, Emilio Gelgi in Pará. I live in Brazil, but I was born and uh, raised in the UK, part of the Forest Falcons team here. And my name is Alex Gomez from Tramontana Birding Team of Spain. I'm Deli Saavedra from the Tramontana Birding Team from Catalonia, Spain. My name is Ponce Falil. I come from Catalonia, from Spain. Uh, I'm a biologist, I'm enjoying it very much here, a uh, lot of new birds. My name is Jordi Sargatal from the Tramontana Birding Team from, from Spain. It's my second travel in Peru, I think it is a fantastic place for birding in Peru. Uh, my name is Fraser Gear. I'm a South African but I live in Congo in Odzala, Cochrane National Park. My name is Richard Anderson uh, from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm uh, Mark Aaron Tonis, um, from South Africa and um, I'm in Pumalanga, close to Kruger National Park. I'm Alistair Kilpin, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. My name is Oliver Komar, I'm a professor at Zamorano University in Honduras, but I'm on the eBirders team from Cornell University. I'm Tom Schulenberg, I'm a research associate at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology in upstate New York. Hi, I'm Tom Johnson and I'm with the Cornell team eBirders. Hi, I'm Mike Anderson. Uh, I'm with Team eBirders, and currently I'm a graduate student at the University of Kansas studying birds in the tropical Pacific. It's late at night here. We're going to hear the rules, and at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn, the six-day rally begins. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, your world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by the Inca Terra family of hotels, authentic nature travel since 1975. So we're ready? Yeah? Yes.
We want to know if everybody is here. Tigrisomas? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ararajubas? Yeah. Zululanders? Yeah. Tramuntana? Yeah. Forest Falcons? E-Birders? Okay. Let the games begin. Day one of the Peru Birding Rally Challenge. And we're on a river called the Madre de Dios, which means the Mother of God River. And this really is a mother of a river, up to half a mile across in places. We're heading up to a lake called Valencia Lake, where we're gonna follow two of our teams, the Arajubas from Brazil, and the LSU Tigrisomas from the United States. Let's go bird. So it's hot and humid here in the Amazonian lowland rainforest. We're at Valencia Lake and we're going to catch up with the Brazilian team, the Rarajubas, and Zappa, their leader. That's some over here. Birding feverishly all day, these guys. What's up, guys? Oh, what's up? Hello, guys. So, a full morning's birding already. Yes. How many birds have you guys got so far? Recorded about 150 or more. Wow. It's been fantastic. 150 birds in a single morning here. What's been the highlights for you guys so far? Well, I would say to myself, a bamboo and shrike. Very special bird. Yeah. about yeah. you? I thank bamboo and shrike for me too. Bamboo and shrike. Yeah, of course, that was a highlight Puros. for everyone. Puros Jacamar. Puros Jacamar. Rufus Mott. Rufus Mott. Mott. Oh, a lot of things. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's so many parakeet. birds, we cannot remember everything. <laughs> Finally, the LSU guys. All right, 12 o'clock status update. How many birds, guys? Some highlights? How's it going? Uh, I think around 120, maybe. Maybe 150. Something like that. We <laughs> haven't <laughs> counted up our list, but somewhere least, around there. At least 300. Yes, yeah, so we've, gotten, we've gotten Rufus fronted ant thrush, which was a, a, a totally enigmatic unknown bird until like the 80s or so. Bamboo ant shrike, which was described in the early 90s, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so those are two dream birds for anybody. At the end of day one, we have the LSU Tigrisomas from the US with a commanding lead over the Forest Falcons from the UK. Our first stop here on day two is Sandoval Lake. This is a very important habitat here because there's these great Morici and royal palms around us here, combined with some terra firma forest as well. Let's see if we can catch up with the Spanish guys. There they are. We all look like a bunch of drowned rats here. <laughs> Such bad weather. Yeah, all the yeah. rain. How's it been going this morning, guys? Uh, really wet. Really <laughs> wet. So that has been a problem. But anyway, anyhow, we managed to, to see quite a few good things, such as Hudson, that was new for some of us. Sun grip yeah. was new for very, very most of us also. And then, well, uh, white throated jackhammer. So, quite good so far. And now, let's hope that it eases a little bit so that we can go on to Lake Sandoval, which we really look for. Well, 170 something stairs later, and here we are hooking up with the Forest Falcons team at the canopy here. Guys, how's it going? What's the morning been like? Pretty good. Apart from the rain, we uh, unfortunately had a couple of hours of uh, birding here, um, but we're almost reaching 100 species. Yesterday was 205, in fact, we actually recounted, but uh, it's pretty amazing. You can't get better species diversity anywhere in the world than the Amazon rainforest. The close of day two sees the beginning of a super tight race with the LSU Tigrisomas only one point ahead of the Forest Falcons from the UK. Five, four, three, two, one, go!
Day three of the challenge has dawned hot and humid. And today, we're gonna to be following two of the teams, two of the last teams that we haven't covered yet. We're gonna be following the Zululanders from South Africa and the eBirders from the United States. Let's catch up with the Zululanders first. They are doing the route right around the lodge here at Inca Terra. So we're gonna see what they're up to. Uh, finally, I find my countrymen over here. These are the Zululanders from South Africa. How's it been going this morning, guys? Richard? Yeah, great morning, James. Yeah, we started off in, in the canopy, up into 40 meters above, uh, above the forest floor. Some good specials up there, and then we walked through the forest and just breading in and around the camp here in the river section. So, nice bard and shrike right at the river's edge as we arrived. So, it's been a good morning. It's awesome. The diversity is unbelievable. You know, just the range of birds that we're seeing. And they're all, I mean, so many of them are fascinating and colorful and doing cool things. But my main highlight's coming soon because we're birding around the lodge today. We're going to have cold beer with lunch. Lekker. Cool. This is the South African team. And uh, these guys are still the dark horse of this competition. I think they're coming right now to day three. They're coming in third or fourth place. So they're kind of in the middle of the pack and they're looking to climb their way northwards to the top. He isn't really our friend. <laughs> We've had a pretty good day uh, so far today. We uh, went out on Lake Sandoval, which was an absolutely beautiful lake. We were lucky today because it was so still and the, and the light was very clear. Um, we, the best bird we had there was multiple sightings of a Gami heron, which is one of the uh, most sought after and most colorful, secretive and rare of the herons in the New World. Some of the other really good birds of the day included an anteater and a giant otter on Sandoval Lake. So, can't quite add them to our list, but we'd really like to and we enjoyed watching them a lot. One of the best birds today for me was the horned screamer because we uh, finally saw one flying high. What a huge, huge bird. Incredibly impressive flight and also we saw the uh, blue and yellow macaws right up close just gorgeous birds all of these are spectacular birds so uh, it's been a great day day three sees the forest falcons take the lead from the lsu tigrosomas with brazil holding strong in third place just finishing the list here after a great day another great day you know, one of the best days we've had for many many years in amazon so it was great we crushed it we're all pretty beat <laughs> for sure we well, a lot of specific birds, so we weren't going for a big total, but we're looking for a lot of the stuff that we won't get once we leave the Amazon again. Machiganga wachipaire. The local way of uh, cooking, what we call a pressure cooker. Get a piece of uh, fresh uh, bamboo, fill it in with uh, whatever you wish for dinner, close it up uh, with a uh, heliconia leaf, and there you have the pressure cooker. You put it uh, next to the fire, and the bamboo juices give it a very particular flavor. This is your food, the Machiganga Wachipaire. So after day three, we've got some mammoth totals here. We've got the forest falcons in the lead here at 326. They got a massive 239 on day three. And then we've got the Tigrisomas, the LSU team, in second place at 305. This Birding Adventures episode is powered by Nikon, your world leader in optics since 1917, and sponsored in part by the Inca Terra family of hotels, authentic nature travel since 1975. Today's a really, really big day. We got up at half past three this morning, and I think that we arrive at our destination at about midnight tonight, only to be up at four again to go birding. I think we're using four different modes of transport. We're going by boat, we're going by railroad we're going by car and obviously we're doing a bit on foot too so four different modes of transport this rally really is an endurance these guys are surviving on four hours sleep a night maximum over this whole period of seven days and i tell you something there's some very weary souls out there let's get ready for day four move Up uh, the hill, <laughs> all the way up, uh, over 4,000 meters you're going to cross uh, today. 
it, it's a, a beautiful ride. It, from here all the way up uh, the cloud forest, uh, the high mountains, uh, Andean Help Mountains, uh, into Cusco, and then down the Sacred Valley to connect uh, with the train at Ollanta y Tamugoy to Machu Picchu. It's a beautiful ride. This is a ride trip. Clutch is gone on, the, on our car, so we've had to pull off. I remember. Probably have to find another car jumping with you guys. Hope you're ready for the burning. We suspect sabotage. <laughs> We're looking for the torrent deck, but still not. Still not here. There it is, there, there, there. Well, this has been great, especially uh, this lake. We got here a little bit ahead of the uh, other crews, I think. We had a chance to drive down around the lake and uh, pick up a lot of big hit of species here, including a giant hummingbird. What a place! It was a long day, but uh, the road was beautiful uh, and the birds were very nice, so we we're very tired, but Brazilians are very happy. <laughs> we're happy. Sleeping booty. <laughs> Day four reveals the LSU tigrosomus from the US, closing the gap again to just one species between the two leading teams. After a 17 hour day of travel yesterday, which started with a boat ride, a 12 hour car ride, a two hour train ride, and a 30 minute walk, the teams arrived here at Incatero Lodge at Machu Picchu late last night at around 12 o'clock. Today, the teams are heading up to Machu Picchu itself to go and do some birding. Hard on the knees for us old guys, <laughs> but it's a wonderful uh, patches of forest still clinging to the uh, very, very steep mountains here above the uh, citadel at, at Machu Picchu. And so we have some nice flocks in there, uh, cinnamon flycatcher, streaked throated bush tyrant. I guess one of the highlights probably would have been the long-tailed sylph, this small green hummingbird with a very long, deeply forked uh, violet blue tail. It's, uh, it's a wonderful bird. It's very different nava fauna than what we had uh, down in the uh, that in the rainforest at Inca Terra. So we've changed biomes completely. Almost everything we see here is something that's new for us in the birding rally challenge. So it's excitement still is running high. Fantastic. fantastic. Again, again, another fantastic day. Machu Picchu, lots of lifers, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was a really good morning. We saw some cool endemics. We saw Inca Ran and, um, and Cusco brushfinch, some, some birds that I've wanted to see for a while. We got a bunch of this higher cloud forest bird, so a lot of what we saw was really new. It was a beautiful morning. It's really nice just hiking around up here in the mountains. Awesome up there, got plush crowns, awesome little bird parties up on the mountain. Nice uh, habitat variety, so uh, yeah, it was a good morning. Now on the bus down to the river's edge, trying to get some torrent duck, uh, white cap dippers, and a few other specials down there. It even looks like there's uh, remains of an old ruin up there or something. Machu Picchu is really a beautiful place and uh, with many birds. Uh, pretty amazing really. Uh, it would have been nice to get there in the afternoon when there would be less people, but uh, they're spectacular, aren't they? Uh, birds have been a little bit sparse today due to the weather, but we're, we're slowly making our way up on the list. I got a feeling we may not come in number one today though, unfortunately. But let's just see. At the end of the second to last day, it's back to a one point lead for LSU with the e-birders surpassing Brazil for third place. Forest falcons, all right. So, guys, yeah. two minutes to 12, it's pretty much over. Tell me, how are you guys feeling? One point separating you from the LSU guys last night. Do you think you've done it? Well, we got 20 birds more than them, seeing the spectacle bear. To us, we maybe forfeited our possible chance of winning because 
fantastic hour watching that spectacle bear with its cub. I mean, that was just something I will never forget in my whole life. That was magical. But we got some good birds today. We'll see. It's close. It's a close one. Can't believe that this thing is, is about to end. It's been a remarkable experience the past uh, six days of seemingly non-stop birding and very little sleep. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. The Siena State University, please if you could come so we could give you a trophy. Come on. Congratulations to Louisiana State University from the USA for winning the first Birding Rally Challenge. And congratulations to all six teams from around the world. So that was a radically close shave. Just three species separating the number one and two teams. But 493 species spotted in just six days and five nights.